5G is all the rage right now, but don't you want it without having to pay an arm and a leg for it? I mean, the plans are expensive, the phones are expensive. Wrong. I'm gonna show you how to get 5G the cheapest way possible in today's video. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, do all of the things. Every little bit helps and I'm trying to grow my channel. So I appreciate you watching this video. Now I went and did all the research and gathered the top five cheap 5G compatible phones. And I also went over the top few 5G capable plans because you need both to access 5G. Lots of people don't know that. To hop aboard the 5G train, you first need a 5G phone. So that's what I'm going over first, the top five cheapest 5G phones, starting with TCL. Now TCL has a brand new 5G phone and it is called the TCL 5G 10 UW. TCL 10 5G UW, that's it. I don't know why all of these manufacturers make their cell phone names so long with so many letters, but here we are, we're out here. Now the 5G UW comes in at a mere $400. It is by far the cheapest and best budget 5G phone on the market right now. So if you're looking to get into 5G and don't wanna spend over $500, this is the way to go with TCL. The next cheap phone I'm going over is the Motorola One 5G, which comes in at 450 bucks. Now this is a great phone because even though it is really inexpensive, it does come with a quad camera, so four cameras on the back and two cameras on the front for dual selfie action. Plus it comes with 128 gigabytes of storage, which isn't too shabby. Now considering I paid $1,100 for 128 gigabytes on my iPhone 12. You're getting a great deal for 128 gigabytes of storage on this Motorola One. The third cheap phone that's 5G capable that I'm going over is the Google Pixel 4a 5G, which comes in at $500. Now there used to be an older Pixel 4a, which wasn't 5G capable. So if you're looking to get this, make sure it is the 4a 5G. Now many reviewers say the 4A 5G has a stellar camera for the price, a superbly long battery life. Who doesn't love that? With a great 765 Snapdragon processor, which is about the third strongest processor for Androids on the market right now. So if you're looking to get into the Pixel game and you want 5G, this is a great phone at $500. It's very low budget when it, as, as 5G phones are concerned. Now we're going up a little bit in price now. The next phone I'm going over is the Samsung Galaxy A71 5G for 600 bucks. Now, if you're craving a Galaxy phone, you want that Samsung brand carrying around with you in your purse or your pocket, wherever, but you don't wanna pay over a grand for it. The Galaxy A71 is for you. Many call this phone the best mid-range 5G phone on the market right now. Now it's the best phone you can buy for a lower budget. The last phone I'm going over is for all you iPhone lovers out there. Now, if you've been keeping up with my channel, you know that Apple just dropped four new devices this year. One of them being the iPhone 12 mini, which comes in at only $700. Now for a brand new iPhone, that is really incredible. And it comes with 5G, that's even better. Now this iPhone 12 is your cheapest option at breaking into the 5G market when it comes to Apple devices at $700, or you can spend $100 more and get the iPhone 12. It's the exact same phone, they're just different sizes, so if you don't mind having the mini, which is very, very small, uh, then go with that for only 700, but if you want something bigger, go with the iPhone 12 for 800 bucks. So now that I've gone over the top five cheapest 5G cell phones on the market right now, we're gonna take a look at some really cheap 5G plans. Now, I'm only going over a few 5G plans because there are a lot, but these are just my picks for the best 5G plans and will get you in the door for really cheap when it comes to getting 5G. Now, obviously, another cheap way to get 5G is to have a family plan and get on AT&T or Verizon. That's the best way to do it, but lots of us don't have family plans to hop onto. So if you're just alone, you don't wanna have to worry about gathering anyone else's payments in your friend group or whatever, you just want your own 5G plan, then these are for you. The first one is from Boost Mobile. Now Boost Mobile runs on Sprint's network and they offer a 5G capable plan for, wait for it, $10 a month, $10 a month, you get unlimited texting and calling and you get 
one gigabyte of data to use. Plus it is hotspot capable. So if you want to use your data on your hotspot, you are more than welcome to, but it is data, only one gigabyte of data. So you just have to be aware of that. But this plan is the hands down cheapest way to test out 5G if you really want to. Now, whether or not this is a realistic plan for someone who wants to test out 5G, 5G users or people who are excited 5G probably will be using a lot of data. So this might not be super realistic, but it's the cheapest way to get your foot in the door. Now, if we look at the cheapest plan and the cheapest phone, the TCL phone, you're getting 5G access for $410. And that is really impressive. The next cheap unlimited plan I'm going over is probably my favorite overall option. It's from Mint Mobile. It's their $30 unlimited plan. I made a video about that plan if you want to learn more about it up here. But basically you get 35 gigabytes of high speed data and then you get unlimited data at slower speeds. Now, this is a great plan because Mint Mobile runs on T-Mobile's nationwide network. So if you have T-Mobile coverage in your area, this plan will work for you. You also get 5G access with this plan and you can use your phone as a hotspot. So for 30 bucks, you get unlimited 5G use and you can use a hotspot. It's a pretty great deal. You do have to pay for Mint Mobile's plans in advance. So you have to pay three months at a time. So although this plan is $30 a month, you have to pay for three months in advance, which is $90. And then if you want to renew after that, your plan price goes up $10 a month to $40 a month. So that is a little snag with Mint Mobile. However, you can prepay in advance for six or 12 months. Those options are cheaper than doing three month options. So if you just want to test out Mint Mobile, the $30 a month plan is great. And then you can prepay for six or 12 months if you want a cheaper plan, a cheaper price in renewing. The next three plans I'm going over are from AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon. I'm just using, going to go over their cheapest plans if you want to be on a name brand carrier, one of the four major carriers in the country. I guess it's only three carriers now. My bad, Sprint and T-Mobile are together. So we're going over the top three plans, top three cheapest plans with the major carriers in the country, starting with AT&T. AT&T's cheapest 5G plan is Unlimited Starter. AT&T only offers 5G access with their name brand Unlimited plans. So that's Starter, Extra, and Elite. So if you wanna get the cheapest AT&T name brand plan, that's Starter for $65 a month. And if you wanna learn more about the Starter plan, you can check out this video up here where I break it all down for you. The next plan I'm going over is from T-Mobile, if you want a T-Mobile branded plan. Now recently, this year, T-Mobile came out with a new set of plans called T-Mobile Connect. They are T-Mobile's budget prepaid plans to kind of combat all the budget carriers in the market. But with T-Mobile Connect, you can pay only $25 a month and you get 5G access and you get five gigabytes of full speed data. Of the major carriers, this $25 prepaid plan from T-Mobile is your best and cheapest option if you want a name brand plan. Now, you can find better deals from Mint Mobile. For 25 bucks, you can get a lot more from Mint Mobile, but if you really just want a T-Mobile plan, then this is your best bet. Lastly, I am going over Verizon's cheapest plan to break into the 5G game. That would be their $35 prepaid smartphone plan. This plan comes with five gigabytes of high-speed data and of course, 5G access. It's not the greatest plan. It's a little expensive and you don't get a lot for it. But again, if you want the Verizon name and you want the cheapest possible way to break into 5G to get your foot in the door with Verizon, this is the plan to do it. Okay, so now I've gone over the top five cheapest 5G compatible cell phones. I've gone over a handful of awesome cell phone plans to choose from. My preferred option, I think the best option for you would be to get the unlimited $30 a month plan from Mint. And then honestly, it just depends on what kind of phone you prefer. If I didn't have my iPhone 12 Pro already and I was looking to break into the 5G game, I'd probably get the iPhone 12 mini just because I'm an Apple fan. But if you're a Samsung fan, I would go with the A71 and Mint Mobile, but that is not the cheapest option going with the Mint Mobile $3 plan. It's definitely not the cheapest, but you get the most bang for your buck with that plan. So that's why I recommend it the most above all the others. Now, this is just for single people. You just have one line you're trying to get. But if you have a group of people, you have a family that wants to break into 5G, that is a whole nother story and a whole nother video coming next week. Let me know in the comments below which one of these plans would you choose? Which 5G phone would you choose? Or do you already have a 5G phone? Let me know which one you have. I'd love to hear from you. 
Thanks for watching List Loud TV. I'm Sherry Riggs.